<laughs> okay. I ditched the skull for the chicken in your honor, Bob. <laughs> so hey, you brought good. the rubber chicken, huh? I did. Well, and that's okay. Starting to that. See, I completely forgot my whoopee cushion. If I had known that we were going to do novelty what? jokes, maybe I've got some plastic poop around here somewhere. I should do my cigar and my Groucho Marx glasses. Yeah. Yeah. If a nightingale could sing like you. Um, who knew well, I was going to sing that? Uh, we're here with Bob Seska in case you haven't guessed. Hi. Hey, special guest, Bob Chetska. Yay! Yay. Yay. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've never done this before. I've never done Facebook Live before, so this is going to be a brand new experience. Well, I hope I don't screw it up. Audience, <laughs> this is the studio audience right here. Yeah. Wonderful. Right here. Yes. And, and okay. sometimes people comment, and yeah. we have to tell them to identify themselves because we can't tell who it is. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see if people pop in. Okay, it's sounds great. Operation. Yeah. <laughs> So how, how did your day go? This is our daily check-in, you know, on in, during cor Corona. Well, as I was saying before, my job is no longer about following politics. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm just now a disaster assessor. I just <laughs> determine how bad the nightmare is, and then I just report back. That's exactly <laughs> what my job is now. It's so reporting back from the bunker. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could totally. I could run FEMA at this point because. <laughs> It's all about, I mean, oh, God. You probably know more than the people at FEMA right now. At this point. <laughs> That's yeah. probably true. Yeah. I think that I think the people running FEMA are two sock puppets and a beanie baby. <laughs> no. That's a, oh, that's I don't a, know. Sock puppet might be overqualified at this point. <laughs> <laughs> sock puppet's about to be fired any moment now for disrespecting Trump. They all get fired at some point. They're yeah. all fired. Oh gosh. I, I don't know. I just like, you know, you're, you're in rough shape when you're longing for the days of Alberto Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He just shot coffee out. His oh no. Yeah, that's right. Already. <laughs> and it was the torture joke. <laughs> I know, but you know, the thing was we could focus on that for like, you know, a month. Mm -hmm. Or two, and not be wondering what else, what other shoe dropped. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the other room, I have a giant roulette wheel, and on the roulette wheel, I have all the Trump things. And when I go to write something, I just spin it, and whatever it lands on, always, always timely, no matter what it oh is. Oh my god! Uh, I was going to ask you how you decide what you're going to comment on. <laughs> so much stuff. Yeah, well, if I find myself yelling at my television, usually that's the good, that's the place where I start. Okay, yeah. I'm yelling at my television about this. I better get this out of my system I before, know. before I'm institutionalized. <laughs> my husband's always saying, you know, they can't hear you. I'm like, yes, I know, I don't care. <laughs> I know. One of these days they will. Just that's a, that's what... I just pace and mumble at my house. <laughs> Yeah, well, I do that. I do that too. I, I find myself mocking Donald Trump whenever he's on television. Whenever oh. I see him talking, and if the TV is, especially if the TV is on mute because we just can't stand to hear his voice, so he starts talking, we mute the television, and I just go around doing just a, an impression of the sounds he might be making. So I'm walking around just going, jibby, jibby, doo, jibby, 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 jibby. it's just what of that weird mouth that he has. And I'm just making fake noises. That's how crazy I am. And I'm hearing myself say this <laughs> any minute now. What's someone's going to come. <laughs> these guys are going to come through the door with a big butterfly net right in the middle of this preparation of this food today, Debriana. It's, <laughs> I'm going to be institutionalized here. Look, we're all going a little bonkers. That's yes. why we started Corona Kitchen. And it's so outrageous right now. I just think that, you know, we, we just, we try to bond and, and center and ground and ourselves with food. And that's food. That's all we got left, Bob. That's all we got left. That's, that's all we have. That's the key. That's Fresh the key. pasta. That's what I say. It's the cure for everything. America has to eat. <laughs> that's right. And, you know, me being the good Italian that I am, I intend to feed everyone. Yes, she does. Yeah, of course, of course. That was my my grandmother, my Italian grandmother. As soon as you would step foot in the house, have a banana. Yeah, Can I? <laughs> yeah, I know. This was, was us. This always was quite the grandmother's thing. G, G, 
Jeep. <laughs> Jeep. <laughs> what I love is, are you hungry? And you say no, and then they go here. <laughs> here, as if like, you said I yes. Said no. No, you look a little thin. <laughs> Uh, well, I am going to make homemade ravioli today in your honor. That is yeah. the, I'm so, I was so happy when you mentioned that because to me, <laughs> that's the ultimate. When you yeah. hear someone's preparing Italian food, you always secretly wish it's going to be ravioli, don't you? I mean, <laughs> I always do. That's like the special, well, that's, that's like the right. Cadillac of Italian pasta. That and is. Just, so, you know, Bob, she made homemade ricotta. She didn't even buy it. She made homemade <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm yeah. a crazy that, that is, person. Yeah. But so good. I'm sure yeah. it's amazing. I, I don't know. I'm now addicted to making my own ricotta. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and if you watch the show at all, you'll know that my freezer is legendary. <laughs> and it is now full of ricotta. <laughs> yeah, as well as some other unmentionables. Yes. <laughs> uh, we often can't talk about what's in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, don't even don't even bring up refrigeration to me. Stephanie Miller started a whole bit about that <laughs> and me, know, and so I talk about the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm just I'm the refrigerator guy. <laughs> well, for me, it's my freezer, so yes. you know we're in the kitchen. It's all good. All right. It's all well, good. that's good. There's no yeah. judgment here. I'm yeah. Kitchen, by the way, but I, I've never been in the refrigerator when it's loaded with ricotta. We're gonna have to try that one of these days. <laughs> Well, if you can find it amongst all the other goodies in there, because believe me, there's a lot of them. We, my, my, dad, husband, my husband actually posted a picture of the freezer on Facebook because yeah, there's a method to her madness. Like she makes everything flat. It goes in like, you know, me, I'm just throwing it in and hoping I know I don't label anything. She labels and dates everything. It's so funny, but it's great. Is, are, are you? what she has. Debriana, are you organized with your uh, refrigeration? You organized with your kitchen? I try to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There are times when it gets a little bit out of control because these days you have to buy so much ahead or you have to buy stuff when you see it. Oh, yeah. Because, like, flour, the precious flour, when you see it, you have to buy it. And if you've already got a bag, you're like, okay. Well, my <laughs> husband could turn the camera around and you'll see on the top of my cupboard. There's flour up there. <laughs> oh my God. You got your stash. I got my stash. <laughs> but I, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Cause I always compare, we have to buy all of our food. We just try to make one trip and get everything yeah. in one trip. I'm six foot four. Kimberly is six feet tall. We make our own food. <laughs> but so consequently the inside of our refrigerator in all seriousness, there's no room for two people in there because it looks like we're feeding a baby gorilla. <laughs> if you open up the refrigerator. Oh my I God. I know, my kids are like, we've never seen so much food in here. What's that? I know. It's, it's everywhere. Time. It's coming out of the corners of everything. I'm like, you'd think there was an apocalypse. Oh wait, there is. Wait a second. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to add that to my roulette wheel. <laughs> I know. Yes. Well, I am beginning my pasta process. So there is one cup of flour in the bowl. Okay. Mm. And there's going to, I, this, the dough for, you know, you guys have made me see me make d pasta dough more than a couple of times, but the ravioli dough has a few more eggs in it. Um, and egg yolks. It's a kind of a, a softer dough. I was just going to ask, is there anything special about ravioli dough as opposed to something that comes out in a more of a string shape or something like yeah. that? Something yeah. good, like the, the pocket dough has to be a different that's, consistency. That's an Italian technical term, string shape. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's what I heard. My Italian grandmother. Yeah, the stringy kind. That's what she always used to say. Well, it has yes. to stick together. I think that's why, too. You know, you have to yes. get it to. Well, you want part. you're gonna want to um, make a softer, more translucent dough, and you want it to mm -hmm. be a little, you know, a little more elastic. Which is why I made the other dough ahead of time. The other half. I'm making half a recipe now. So this is one cup of flour, two egg yolks, and uh, one whole egg and a half a teaspoon of salt going in there. Yes, Lisa, I measured it. Thank God. 
<laughs> and also, I'm really happy to see you using gluten again because she made gluten free last time, and it was painful. I know <laughs> it what was it was painful. painful. What was what was painful about the gluten free well, version? It just because she didn't have enough eggs, and well, we were just trying to find out what would make it stick together and adding yeah. all those crazy ingredients like xanthan gum and yeah, like weird stuff. Yeah, you know, weird stuff. My yeah. my grandma, yeah, my Italian grandmother I said never forget the xanthan gum. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. When you're making the stringy kind. Well, yeah, non-gluten pasta is a chemistry experiment. That's really? what I got to say. All right, so I I mixed the eggs really well with the with the salt first, and then I'm just sort of grabbing the um the flour with my fork. Mhm. Mm and till it becomes like a kind of a shaggy dough. And the thing about the moisture and the flour is that um, it depends on the size of the egg. So if, if it's not going to go into a, a, a soft, you know, soft enough dough, then I need to add a little water. But I'm going to see what this does. How many individual raviolis are you planning with this amount of ingredients? Um, how, about, how about that? I, about, huh? I almost know what I'm talking about. <laughs> how many are you? How many raviolis will that make, Debrielle? Uh, I don't know. I think it's supposed to serve uh, about four to six people. I guess it depends on how many raviolis you like to eat. See, I see. So this is not this is not um, uh, wet enough. I can tell. So I'm going to add just a smidge of water. But if I were, you know, um, Alton Brown, I'd use a. a a spray bottle. <laughs> yeah, probably a Geiger counter or something <laughs> super scientific if you're Alton Brown. But you yeah. like to make it with your hands, Ebriana, as opposed to like a KitchenAid. Like oh, I would do. <laughs> oh, I never even considered the KitchenAid. <laughs> you know what I find is always frustrating is there never seems like there are enough ravioli. You like yeah. you get a, you get. A, <laughs> that's, that's one of the many frustrations in life. Why? <laughs> Like I wake up, bolt upright, sit upright, sweating in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. Why is there never enough ravioli? <laughs> but it, it always seems like whenever I order in a restaurant, and it's, in all seriousness, I always feel like they give me four of them, and I've eaten four of them, and I feel like, where's the rest? Why are they, be, why are they stiffing me on the ravioli? Is, that, is there something about ravioli that demands that there are fewer rather than more of them? Is it... Do they no. stick together? Is there some is there some etiquette about it I, that I I'm not aware of? I think what's happened to you, Bob, is you went to a restaurant where they ran out of ravioli, and they're like, <laughs> "That's We're just it every single time." <laughs> no, I think it's just because all you do is work out, Bob. <laughs> that might be it. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. All right, so now the dough feels like it's all coming together, and I'm just going to knead it. Till it gets a little bit like, I don't know, um, dough. <laughs> Debrion is the pasta dough master. So I'm just, you know, you just want to roll your hand through it and at a 45 degree angle and just keep doing that until it kind of comes together, which it's doing right now. And then the trick is you can see it coming together. Oh, it feels so nice. The coming um, together always feels nice. <laughs> I know. Remember coming together? Remember it? When we used to come together. <laughs> they say when that's we a used to come together. <laughs> they say that's a thing. I heard that was something people strive for. <laughs> okay. All right. So this dough is very lovely. It's now the thing about the dough is you're you want to rest it for like at least a half an hour. Now I and that makes the gluten rest. <laughs> it's a little nervous right now. Do its thing. Yeah. Do so its thing. The it gluten's feels, an old man. Needs a nap in the afternoon. That's what it just needs to. Even though it feels soft right now, I can feel that um, it's it's got some tension in it, I guess is the best way to describe it. So I'm going to wrap it up in some plastic <laughs> and, and relax it a little bit. <laughs> okay. You know, don't you wish that that's all we needed to do now is just wrap in plastic and we could relax a little bit. <laughs> just a little. Something tells me there are other things you have in store for the preparation. <laughs> oh, 
Why, yes, yes, that's true. So we have several audience members, and one of them just said, so after you come together, you rest. Do I have that right? <laughs> yes. And it also relieves the tension of the gluten. Yes. yes. And now this is my relaxed gluten. It's my, all about the pasta dough. That's right. It's all about the pasta Life dough. metaphors. Yes. Okay. So this one has though. been resting through the magic of television okay. Okay. and my non-existent assistant. <laughs> I have relaxed pasta dough wrapped up right here. And getting it out of my plastic. And she feels nice and soft and very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to cut her in half with oh. something. <laughs> Oh, that should be a knife, but I don't have one on my desk. And I'm going to wrap the other piece up so it doesn't... You don't want it to dry out. Yeah, I don't want it to get ornery. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to set it aside. All right. So now... I, I'm See, what I'm, when I'm laughing, I'm editing myself. That's what I'm <laughs> doing. <laughs> Okay. This isn't this is a you know adult show. We we don't really have <laughs> kids that watch it, so you know. You oh know. sure. This one time though. <laughs> <laughs> Little Johnny was this one time. Back. This one time. <laughs> All right. So here's my magic machine. Oh yes, the pasta crank. Yes. <laughs> my uncle. We used to call my uncle a pasta crank. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. It's so soft. Um, okay, I'm going to fold the ends in, do this, and then I'm going to roll it out a little bit. We're going to keep doing this until it gets translucent. It, this is sort of like, I guess, what you call working the dough. And it's going to go through here again. This is on the widest setting for all of you people following along with your pasta machine. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone said, let it rip, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad thing to tell me. You should not say that to me. Diana, <laughs> wasn't that your um, David's um, grandma's pasta machine? No, said? not this one. That's coming out. Oh, that's coming out. Okay. That's coming Pretty out after really. this. Okay. Is I'm just getting the dough ready now. Oh, I see. Okay. So are you literally making it to, to the point where it's see-through? Like you can actually see through it? Well, I, I don't know. I, I hope so. <laughs> like like Trump's wall at the border. It's a see-through. <laughs> it's yeah, not invisible. You're not making invisible dough. It's actually no. the regular dough that you can see through. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to make it invisible. <laughs> see. <laughs> This is the kind of commentary you get. I should have warned you. <laughs> okay. You, you could have warned us, but but that's okay. We're, we're all good. There. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> oh, it yeah, is nice. yeah. Yes, it will. It will be lovely. I can feel it. Like, if you make enough uh, things with, with actual flour, <laughs> you, you actually can feel... Uh, Feel the lifeblood in it. Go in. Go in. Yay. Someone so, said, I don't know. They didn't identify themselves. I graduated to the electric pasta maker that you add your KitchenAid mixture. I've done that before. Yeah, I have. I have too. I, I also have the the um, the attachment that you use in the Cuisinart, yes. which is really weird. Um, but I don't, I don't like it. I like to be able to feel my pasta. <laughs> I think the crank is the best, actually. Yeah, I do think so. Okay, so I'm just going to keep lowering this down. Is there a certain, are you just eyeballing it, or is there a certain number of times you run it through the machine? Um, right now, I'm sort of eyeballing it. <laughs> um, but I, I guess you could count. <laughs> I'm not it's counting. Just you're just waiting until it's translucent, right? It's just that's yeah, the, well, like that's, at that I, point, that's when you finish. Yeah, every time I put it um, through, I'm trying to turn the crank down so that um, so that it gets thinner. There's a um, there's a setting on this machine. I don't know if you know about these machines, but there's no, a setting. No, I've, got, I've never used one. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, these are magical. 
Yes, it, it applies more pressure and it gets yeah. thinner. See, and this is this it. just got super thin. I don't know. Elastic. You, like yeah. I can almost see through it. So that one's good. I'm gonna stop on that on that one. And I'm gonna get one more ready because you need the top of the dough, right? You need the bottom and the yes. top for the ravioli. And then I will introduce you to David's grandmother's. Whoa, that's awesome. This is so thin. <laughs> Um, David's grandmother's ravioli maker. <laughs> I love that it still has the price on it. I know, right? Oops, I'm gonna need to send that through again. <laughs> a little more flour. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, it's really cool. Um, and I, I have to tell you, our house smells divine. I, I started making sauce earlier today. Mm. So it has. Um, what kind of sauce? What kind of sauce are you making? Thing. If you don't get enough flour on it, it kind of sticks. So just so you know. Um, there, you know what? There, you know what I also find is that ravioli, when you're when you're uh, putting it together, it has a tendency to stick together. The ravioli yeah. when you're uh, boiling it. Is there is something that you put into the dough itself, or is there something you put into the water when you're boiling it that keeps it from sticking together? No. No. <laughs> okay. There it is. Thank okay. you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> you have to fish it out. Grandmother's for a ravioli maker. Look at this. This oh, is okay. the original box. It came from the hardware store. And it was $6.50. <laughs> and this is so cool. Came from uh, Joe's Romanelli hardware store and tools. <laughs> and this is wow. it. It has two that pieces. Awesome. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever seen one like Isn't this. Isn't cool? Yeah. So oh, you want to put that's your. That's old school, Debriana. That's super old school. Way oh, old yeah. school. I, I have the, one, I have the yeah. one that you do with the crank where it, you, you feed it into the crank and it makes the crimps. Oh, yeah. I, have, that one. I also have a crimper. Um, yeah. but whoops, I need more flour. Um, but, uh, if I, if I wanted to make them by hand, you know, like not, mm -hmm. not use the machine, mm -hmm. but so this just needs to be a little wider. So I'm just going to widen it up with my, my giant rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the Italian woman mad. That's your marble. <laughs> See, it's a good thing this is Facebook Live and I'm not in that kitchen because I would have already been clobbered by that rolling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Definitely we're shut up, Bob. A lot of frying. Be quiet, pan. Bob. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> the thing what? about the, the machine, the, I mean, this little um, doodah thing is you have to get the dough wide enough and this thing doesn't get it wide enough quite. So. What you happens when you, what happens when you rip it like you did? How did you get that to rip it? Uh, you you know, I'm gonna have to have surgery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's it's in there, it's on there. Then you take this handy dandy thing and you go like this to make the little holes. Oh, wow! Isn't that cool? That's but so now. I'm going to have to cover that with cloth because we have to stop and make the filling. And here's my cloth. Goodbye. Go to sleep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the filling. The filling with my homemade ricotta. I have oh my God. That's two gonna be so I'm going to make. One's vegetarian and one is with the sausage. <laughs> so, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I know. Here's the sausage. I already, I cooked it ahead of time and I chopped it pretty small. So there you can see it. Yeah. That's Italian sausage. Of course it is. Excellent. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I have crazy things coming out of my freezer. <laughs> Cheese. Let's go in there. And this is the homemade ricotta. Oh, there what you are. kind of cheese, Debriana? Um, whatever I had in my refrigerator. 
<laughs> but you're not going to tell us what it is. Because <laughs> I don't know. It didn't have a label on it. <laughs> Some kind of yellowish cheese. Okay. Yeah. No, it's probably Toscana because that's my usually my favorite. Okay. And I'm going to add the ricotta in there. Now, the, this, the thing about the ricotta for ravioli. Oh, look at that. Is, um, mm, yum. <laughs> it's, um, it's got to be, you know, a little bit dry. So I've been um, letting it rest in that cheesecloth and drain for a while. Wow. No, um, see, now that, that, I just want to stick my face in that. That, <laughs> that looks really. <laughs> okay. I, I have a problem. What can I say? I see something <laughs> delicious and I want to stick my face in it. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if there's a Pornhub channel for that. I have no idea. Well, but I want to stick my face into that bowl. Yeah, I can, I can make that virtually happen right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, there you go. Oh Screw you, coronavirus. I'm sticking my face in that bowl one way or another. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Bob? I'm feeling great. This is, you know what? This is so much better than a Trump press conference. Although anything, anything is better than a Trump okay, press well, conference. That bar was pretty low. I had a colonoscopy last week. I was like, way better than a Trump press conference. Okay, so this is fresh basil and parsley that I got from my yard. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna mix this up. Is it, you say I'll fresh parsley and, and basil? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure that comes from your garden, doesn't it? Does it? Yes, it is does. That, oh. Of course, it came from her garden. That's yes, ridiculous. Sir. Yes, sir, it did. <laughs> so wait, okay, so tell this. us what sauce you were making. Is it marinara sauce, or what do you make? Oh yeah, sauce? yeah, it's a marinara. I have a a pork pork steak in it and a couple of chicken thighs. Yum. <laughs> okay, so that's the um, that's the um, the meat filling. But for our vegetarian friends, not I have something else. <laughs> Where did it go? Where's, did you take things from me? Did, where's my product? Oh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have pesto. Ooh, pesto ravioli. Pesto. Yum. Yes, it's um, radish leaf pesto because that's what I have growing in the garden. Oh my and I'm going to use that for the vegetarian. Um, filling. Wow. Mm. So and there's the two. Oh, yum. Yeah. So here we go. That's good enough. And and I'm like you now, Lisa. I am not measuring. <laughs> Great. I'm rubbing off on you. Yeah, I know. You're a bad influence. <laughs> okay. Someone said homemade pesto. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's quite good. I have to say. Yes. All right. I'm going to taste it. So quickly, what's in the pesto? Garlic, the greens, mm -hmm. pine nuts. No, I use pistachio nuts. Okay. Pistachio. Yeah. Olive oil. Garlic. Garlic and cheese. Yeah. Cheese, please. Pesto is so great. We have a great episode on our YouTube channel. Check it out. Yeah. Lisa makes a great pesto. This yes. was just what I had in my garden. You can make it out of anything, really. Okay. All right. Now, fill, fill the ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> Smell out of it. What happened? What was that? I just don't know. Okay. Things are flying around my kitchen. You guys can't see it. Because we don't, we don't actually have a camera person. We just have my husband, who's who's pretending David, to be a camera person. God bless you. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm gonna roll this guy a little wider because okay. it is not wide enough. So another person is asking Basil. No. What? It is. She makes her pesto out of her radish greens because that's what she had. But traditionally, yes, alla Genovese is the basil pesto Correct. base. Correct, Mundo. Go to the YouTube channel. There's a, there's a whole episode. Yeah, I don't have enough basil right now to make pesto. It's, it's just baby. Yeah. All right. So that's wide enough, I think. All right. Here we go. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> so here. Wow. A little dollop in each one. Is there, a, uh, is there a measurement that constitutes a dollop? What is... is <laughs> 
what is a dollop? I'm, no, I'm just no. You don't have to answer that question. I'm giving you the finger. <laughs> I was just. I need to say something. Let me ask you, what constitutes a dollop? I swear, I swear, you know what? I'm not on drugs tonight. I. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to make a few of the, the with the um, sausage. Oh, you're oh you're mixing it up. Yeah, woo! They're going to touch. <laughs> and then you oh, oh there you go. I need a I need a brush. I don't have a brush. Oh wait, yeah I do. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, woo! That was fun. Um, I have my egg whites here, so I'm going to brush the edges. That's the glue. That's the glue, people. <laughs> it's a, egg whites are Italian glue. <laughs> <laughs> come back, come back. Yes, and now I can put my my covering on and press. You can see all the you know kind of the design come up through here. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. As I'm pressing down. Yeah. And the raviolis are in there. <laughs> Yay. Oh, those are going to be good. Yeah. Wait, how, how are they cut? Are they separated or how does that? Well, they will be in a few minutes. Oh, okay, I'm, I see. I'm just making sure the edges are all tight because mm -hmm. you don't want the filling leaking out. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So yeah, you don't want the filling to leak out prematurely. You want to... <laughs> no, no. Uh, you know what? Not to stick. Can we edit that joke out? <laughs> no, no, we, we, have we have no editing capacity. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is live. Damn it. <laughs> we have no editing capacity, even when it wasn't. No one edited. This is live. <laughs> so See, that's why. That's why I pre-taped my show so I can take all the stupid crap out. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go like this uh -huh. with my big heavy implement. <laughs> and here they go. Wow. They're out. Oh, look at them. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. That made it rough. Yeah, so out comes the ravioli. Wow. You can turn those it over. Are not, you know, those are not your small, like Trader Joe's ravioli. No. <laughs> you know, no. Those are legit. Yeah. These so are. Bob, what you did could you have four of of those and be satiated, right? I I seriously doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm being what? honest. Aren't they yeah. cool? They're beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So then yeah, I'm gorgeous. So right now, what I would do is put them on a tray, like like a so, <laughs> like a so. And then, if I was going to freeze them, I would put them in the freezer flat like this, and put parchment paper between each one so they could freeze separately. But I probably, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna eat these. <laughs> You I better you if <laughs> if you don't eat those. I'm driving to New Mexico. And I'm gonna... Okay, one of our fans wants to know how many raviolis can Bob eat. <laughs> is this a food challenge? It's a food challenge. <laughs> it is. Oh my god! Uh, probably more than I should. Let's uh, put it this way: I'll eat as many as I can until I regret eating that many. Oh, no. And if I until these two i would when the <laughs> when the regret and self-loathing kicks in that's what i say okay maybe maybe i've eaten You're too like, many. i'll stop now wait stop <laughs> yes, that's right but in the meantime 12 18 108 <laughs> somewhere in that range somewhere in that range somewhere yeah. in that vicinity <laughs> and and especially these because like i said i wanted to put my face in those well, here, put his face in those. Right. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Virtual face plant. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then with the homemade marinara, that's just irresistible. Yeah, you might. I don't know. Can you can you see the marinara? Yeah. Oh, homemade right. marinara, huh? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it always yeah. reminds me of that scene in Goodfellas where he's like, yeah. you got to stir the sauce. Did you stir the All sauce? Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then the cocaine and the toilet go, and right. the helicopters. I love that scene so 
No. Oh, oh man, that. look at that. Wow. See, now that, another thing I want to put my face in. See, <laughs> you might my, burn your face on that. <laughs> probably. That's that's why I look like this. Because I've burned my face too many times. But, but my my grandmother used to, and I swear to God, she came over on a boat from northern Italy when she was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And and she until the day she died, she started her base for her marinara with a jar of ragu. And I, I have documentation of this. What? <laughs> I wow. guess the, I guess I guess now she and, oh, and all weird. of our ancestors we're gonna be kicked out of the Italian club now. Now that oh, I've my said God. that. God. I'm shocked. I'm shocked by that. Yeah. Well, she would do all kinds of things to it. It wasn't just like, oh, here, yeah, here. Yeah, of course. Screw yeah. you. I'm giving you ragu tonight. It wasn't like that. It was it she she did a lot of other things in it, but ragu was the start. Uh, so that says a lot about ragu, I guess. Or I guess. I'm not sure what it says. <laughs> I, I don't think she was in there like twirling her mustache, going, I'm gonna pawn off ragu on these suckers. <laughs> no, that's my grandma. It's fine, but it's ragu. All these troglodytes will never know what they're eating. Oh my God! That, well, you know there was that whole thing about wanting to be an American when when people came here at that mm -hmm. days, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, that's, <laughs> that's how my last name went from Cheska to Seska. It's easier to <laughs> presumably oh, really? easy, presumably easier to spell if it's oh, pronounced God, Seska. You don't I guess. Know what our last name was? Um, me being Croatian, my my. Grandfather changed it from Kugaruzovic to Lucas. <laughs> Wait, what was the what was the Croatian name? Uh, Kugaruzovic, which means corn farmer. <laughs> okay, he who grows corn. And and, and it went uh, to and so I I guess I could see how Lucas came out of that was the, and that yeah. was a conscious decision that wasn't just a guy at Ellis Island going, "You're no, Lucas." Yeah. No, that one was there were all these stories of just like. You know, my uh, great grandfather walking around and he tried to get a job and no one could say his name. And so he's like, screw this. I, we have to change the name if we're going to live in America. I'll never yeah. work. So they changed their name because of that. It was too hard to say for anyone. Wow. Every time someone else has written down my last name, like a clerk at a store, or if I'm I don't know, buying a car or something like that. The the the, the name is always starting out with an S that's scribbled out. And then my actual last name. Oh, really? Because as soon as I say, what's your last, they say, what's your last name? I say, Seska. They start to write an S and I go, no, it's C-E-S-C. -E and then they start, they have to scribble out the S and then write oh, the name. Weird. So there, there must be hundreds of documents floating around in the world in which my last name is spelled S scribbled out and then the actual name. <laughs> That's sad, Bob. <laughs> it's my, my sad, sad life. Talk about a life of privilege. I'm complaining. There are starving people in the world. I'm complaining about my last name. Well, yeah, there, there are that. There are people starving in the world, and that is sad. And for that, I don't blame you or your last name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to stand here and make ravioli until the dough's gone. <laughs> so, how many do you think you're going to get? How many? Because obviously, uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, probably about forty. That see now that I could eat forty, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not I'm not making that up. Well, I could seriously eat forty. Put FedEx those to Bob tonight. I know, seriously. I don't think he. Eats them. I think Bob just eats like I don't know protein and and <laughs> no fat and look at him. One of those lean chicken and yeah, you know, like rice people. What cheese? No, <laughs> I can't do that. My body will fall. <laughs> Kimberly would find me sitting on the sitting at the front door on the floor with just the empty FedEx box <laughs> and <laughs> flour. It's I would fine. just eat them raw. <laughs> flour it's all over my face. Security blanket. No, don't do that. You, you could share them with Kimberly, couldn't you? <laughs> Are you kidding? No. <laughs> no. Okay, so someone says 
Bob, do you need me to come over? That's a lot of raviolis. And, uh, and then another person said, Bob eats nails. What? I, I do. <laughs> Who knew? I, and I'm he can chew them and spit them out. <laughs> Oh my God. He's amazing. He's an amazing man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we had him in Corona Kitchen. Whatever right. ate nails, there are never enough nails. Do you find that? Yeah. My yeah. When my grandmother made nails, she started with ragu. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your gra grandmother could make nails. That's probably what kind of cloth. Like any good Italian from. girl. <laughs> <laughs> like any good Italian girl. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Whatever you say. <laughs> Always agree with someone brandishing a, a rolling pin. Yes. A, ro a, yes. a marble rolling pin. A marble rolling That one will pin. leave a dent, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's a danger, I tell you. A danger. <laughs> well, I'll just be sitting here rolling my ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed well, to all done. Done, though, because none of us can work because our industry is at a standstill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and as I was saying, the um, the new rules telling us that um, we have to spend less time in the makeup trailer. I'm not sure how well that's going to go over. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's uh, that's risky. <laughs> that's tragic. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a really interesting time for content. and until they get a vaccine that actually works and is safe. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, we have, and it's mm -hmm. going to be available. So, so like everybody besides um, George Clooney can get it because Tom Hanks doesn't need it. <laughs> Tom Hanks will get all the work anyway, as he always does. Yeah. <laughs> I think you like him. <laughs> I do like him. He's a very nice man and he, he got me coffee once. And I love that guy. He's a sweetheart. He deserves all the success. Faster. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but you know oh, what about Tom Hanks? Is he, <laughs> as, <laughs> as nice as Tom Hanks is, he's terrible in a, a, at an ATM machine. He just stands there forever, forgets his PIN number, <laughs> tries to put his card in the upside down way, doesn't understand. The huge line behind him, so inconsiderate. <laughs> so inconsiderate. <laughs> Not good. Money comes out, the money never stops coming out of the ATM. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key. So you can you can be an a-hole at the ATM if you've got lots of money in there. <laughs> okay. In there. Oh my god. Serious. That is serious. Oh, someone says maybe invite him to Corona Kitchen. Oh yeah. Hmm, I wonder if you would come on a show. What? <laughs> I wonder if Tom Hanks would come on Corona Kitchen. Oh, of course no. he would. Someone He's not working. If he did, he did that movie, The Terminal, he'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. I just I try to think of a bad Tom Hanks movie, and that's the one I landed on. I don't know. Okay. If I haven't even seen it, so I'm sorry, Tom. This is This is the behind. You. Oh. Oh. Reverse angle. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Okay. Oh my God. You Isn't that over. cool? That is so cool. Wow. Yeah, I didn't quite get that one there. I wonder yeah. what year she bought those. Do you know, David? What year did your grandma buy that? You think? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I was one. Okay. <laughs> 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 Well, there you have it, people. I made ravioli for you. you did it. Yay. Thank you, Gabrielle. Yay, Maja. That was a labor of amore right there. Yay. So I will um I will post the recipe and pictures and send Bob a a, a, a condolence card in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> With a granola bar. I'm with a sorry. with one ravioli stuffed in it. That'll show you <laughs> to be greedy. For apron. <laughs> you get one, you glutton. <laughs> well, that's my story. <laughs> Good job. Thank you so much. All right, that's uh, wonderful. 
I'm so glad you got to be here and hang out with us. Thank you. Thank you. Bob. Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. Yeah, I want to. I want to do it next week too. Just cancel oh, your other guests. Bump okay. your other guests. All right. <laughs> I'm coming back next week. Awesome. Back anytime. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Thanks so much. We really enjoyed it, and um, hopefully, you can have my ravioli post pandemic. Yeah. Oh, perfect. There you go. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah. You and Kimberly okay, will all go all go We'll eat we'll together. <laughs> Outstanding. Yes. Yeah. We'll break bread. Thank you. Okay, everybody, have a great night. Thanks for Bye, joining everybody. us. Stay safe and try to stay sane. Yeah. yeah. Try to stay sane. Stay. <laughs> Manja, everyone. <laughs>